Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to create a Christmas greeting card in five easy steps using Adobe InDesign. This is something even beginners or new users to Adobe InDesign can do. I'm going to take you through five easy steps from creating the document to exporting the file um, in five steps. So let's get started. So as you can see here, I have the front cover of my page and then down below the message as well as an illustration and then leaving enough empty space or white space so you can leave a personalized greeting uh, for for those that you're sending it to. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go to File, New, Document. Now I already have my document settings here, so I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm going to click Print because this is where it would default to when you create a new document. Um, so it'll, it'll be an 8.5 by 11. So what we want is an A5 document, okay? So if you don't see it here, click your print tab and then click view all presets. After you do this, you can go down to A5 down here, click that. That's your width, that's your height. Now that's an A5 setting. Typically cards come in different sizes, so you can do five by seven or something like that. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. And then we're gonna leave it the orientation, that portrait. We want the pages to be four right because we want front and back and then inside pages we do want facing pages on and then the start page i'm going to set this to two so when i when i hit actually let me show you if i hit preview here remove this one of the side so there's two and three and then i can't move that down so that's how it's going to look like here okay i'm just going to do one last thing for the margins i don't want them uh at, uh, half an inch. I'm just going to decrease in one step down and then hit create. Okay, so there's my there's my document now, two and three, which will become my cover, and then four and five. Now it's not essential that you create guides for this or columns because it's basically a greeting card, but I still go in and put in some, some kind of guides. So I'm going to go to my master page up here, double click the first thumbnail in the top left hand corner. And then I'm just gonna to go to layout and then create guides. And then I'm just gonna make this four rows, three columns, and then I'm just gonna decrease the gutter size a couple points down or inches, something like that. Even if you don't use these guides, at least you have some kind of structure in place so you're not just kind of guessing as to where you're putting your content. So now if I click on my page two and three and four and five, you can see that the columns, or sorry, the the, uh, the guides are there now. So instead of doing them individually on page two and three and then four and five, just go to your master pages up here and do put in your guides that way and take effect throughout. Okay, so let's start on page two. Now I'm just gonna be going back and forth to my other document here so I can uh, reference the color that I'm using, okay? I'm gonna go to my layers palette up here and I just wanna create another layer. Now you can name these or rename them or just leave layer one, layer two. I always rename, so I'm gonna make layer one cover. I'm just gonna call it cover. And I'm gonna double click layer two and just call it inside. Okay, so Everything that goes on my cover will go into this layer, and then everything that goes inside, I'll work off this layer, okay? So for now, let's work on our cover, and let's tuck that away. Let's go to our um, swatches. Actually, I'm gonna put in a, let's go to our rectangle frame tool, start in the upper left-hand corner, click, left-click, drag, and just create a frame that stretches or spans across the entire document, um, on page two and three, okay? Now we're gonna make this a specific color, so I can go in here. Actually, I'm gonna bounce back to this version here, with my swatches. Now this is the color I'm using, so I'm gonna double click that. Actually, let's go to my color here. Double click that. And I'm just gonna grab the code, the color code. Copy it. And let's just make it red for now. I'm gonna to go to my back here, double click that. Let's put in that specific color code. Now what I'm going to do now is because I already have this color in place now, I'm just going to go up and see this uh, these options in your color uh, in your color window here. Just click that, 
and just add add that color to your swatches so now you don't have to go back and forth and it's it's right there okay so that's good we have our color for our, our uh, greeting card now what i'm going to do i have a illustrator file that i'm going to pull up here there's various ones so i'm going to be using um vector overlays and bringing them into indesign okay so the first one i want to do is grab this pattern here okay so this is a swatch pattern but i'm just going to go ahead and click on it in illustrator and do command c and then i'm going to go back to indesign and i'm just going to go command v or control v if you're on a uh, windows and basically what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put this um, pattern overlay it and i'm going to increase the box or stretch out the box that covers the whole document again and i'm going to click on my content grabber or donut depending on what you like to call it so this thing here content grabber and then there's a couple of ways of making that fit into that frame the way i do it is shift option command c and that will fit the content to the frame that you created um, Conversely, you can also go up to properties and with, with the content grabber selected. So I have, I have the content um, selected here, the pattern. And in, in newer versions of InDesign, you have what's called content aware fit right here. You can also click that. It essentially, it does the same thing. It will fit the content to the frame that you've created. So I'm just going to do that, shrink it down just a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do now is go click on the content grabber again. And I want to blend this into my backdrop because obviously the, the, uh, the color here is black and it's, it's quite busy. So I want to blend that in. And so we'll use a blending mode by going to opacity here in my properties panel appearance section, click that. And right here where it says normal, I want to select soft light, okay? So you can already see that it blends it into that, that color that I've created. Um, and but it's still a little bit too intense. So I'm going to go to the opacity here. I'm going to I'm going to make that. You can make it anywhere between 20 to 30. Let's make it 40. 40 is good. Okay. So if I take my guides off briefly, just click anywhere off on the baseboard with your selection tool, and press W on your keyboard. That will toggle your guides on and off. Okay. So you can see your work here without the guides on. So that's essentially what I want to do. So that's uh, two steps down. So we've created the document. We've put in our pattern with our background. Now I'm going to put in, let's go back to Illustrator. I'm going to put in the title here. So I've got many to choose from. Again, these are just vector overlays. The one, the theme that I went with is let it snow. Okay, so I'm going to click on that in Illustrator. Again, I'm just going to do Command C. You could also go to Edit, Copy or control C on the PC windows. And let's go back to InDesign. And let's just click in anywhere and just command E. Oh, that didn't pop. Let's try that again. Command C. Command V, there it is. Can bring that over. And I want it centered on this page here, both vertically and horizontally. So I have it selected in up top here. Um, you have some alignment options. Just make sure that when you're aligning this to a page that you select this icon here and don't have it aligned to the selection, you have it aligned to the page. So now I'm gonna click that. And if I click this here, align horizontal centers, it already is. I'm gonna go down below, align vertical centers, and there you go. So I don't want it black either, so I'm going to click on it, and on the fill, let's just make it white for me. Okay? So essentially, let's just assume that's done. That was pretty simple to do. Um, a few steps, and you already have a front cover of a greeting card for Christmas, okay? So now let's go to page two. I'm just going to click on my layers here, and I'm going to lock the cover just so we don't move anything around accidentally. Let's click on inside. And again, this one's going to be pretty straightforward as well. I'm going to go to my Illustrator file again. And this time I want to go to illustrations. And again, you have many here to choose from. 
kind of some really cool ones down here. So you have a, a bear. I chose the penguin wearing the scarf, command C. Let's go back to InDesign, and V. Let's move this guy here. So that magenta line that appeared in my smart guides, that's telling me that it's, it's centered to the page. So even if I go up here and, and um, align the uh, horizontal centers, it's already gonna be aligned and let's align the vertical centers too. So I want it a little bit bigger too. So I'm just gonna hold down Shift and Option. On a PC, you'd be Shift and Control and grab any of the handles and just kind of scale it up a bit, okay? Now, I have space up here and down below to put some messaging or greeting. Pretty generic. And so what did I have here? Wishing you and your family a wonderful holiday season and happy. Wishing your family a uh, happy, wonderful holiday season. and a happy new year. Keep going there, wish me you, wishing your family a wonderful holiday season and happy new year. Let's go ahead and center that, shift command C, or use your alignment options for the text up top or in your properties panel. And the font that I use for this is marker felt, just to give it a little bit of Kind of fits the theme of the penguin and you know a playful typeface like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and align that to the page. And I'm also going to make this a little bit bigger. So what I have twelve point. What could I have it here so we're on the same page? Fourteen. Perfect. Good. Okay. So instead of making another text uh, frame, by the way, to make a uh, type text frame, you just go to type, the type tool, click and drag, and then you can start typing. I'm gonna delete that. And what I like to do, because I've already done all my formatting, I don't wanna repeat that process again. I'm just gonna click on this with my selection tool, hold down my option or alt on a PC, and drag out and then pop. And I'm just gonna say, let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Perfect. Again, I'm going to make sure that that's aligned to center. And you see what I did there? You see those guides that are popping up with the arrows that are showing up, the green arrows? That's basically telling me that the space between each uh, element on this page has equal space now. So I'm going to let go, and there you go. Hit OK. So I'm going to leave this page completely empty because that's where ideally you would write your message to whoever's sending this card to. And same with the back panel here. You can put another illustration, maybe another, uh, you know, a bear or something back there. I like to leave it pretty simple here. And so that, that would be it. That is how you create a A5 Christmas greeting card. Now, what's the next step we have to export this as a PDF to bring it to a print shop, okay? Now, I didn't set a bleed on this, and that's not necessary um, for this tutorial, but let's go up to File and Export, because now we're going to save this as a proper file to bring to the print shop. So Export, and we want it to be Adobe PDF Print right there, okay? So let's click that, and ideally, let's name this Christmas card dash final, maybe. And I have a folder here to, to export that, save it where you can find it, hit save. Now this window is going to show up. This is your export um, Adobe PDF options. So if the printer you're working with has spe specific instructions on marks and bleeds and printing uh, bleeds, things of that nature, they would let you know. Um, but it's, other than that, the thing that you should focus on here 
is how you export the pages. So because it's in a part of face and pages, you want to leave it as spreads. Okay, so when you export it, it's gonna it's gonna show up as spreads. Otherwise, if you put pages, it's gonna export as single pages. So let's leave it as spreads. And let's hit export. I'm gonna go to my finder now and let's go to my desktop. And I'm just gonna open the card up in after that. And I'm just gonna bring it over. There it is. Expand that window. And zoom it out. So that is what you would send to the printer. There's your front cover. Okay. And In there, let's have to uh, maybe I only export it on the Let's try that again. That's a uh, Christmas card. That's this thing on It's called T. Save. Oh, that's what I did. I, I hit range here. So select all. So what happened there is I only had range and it only exported pages two and three. So click all and then spreads. Now click export. And let's see now. There's the first page. There's the second page. Okay, so it's pretty simple, straightforward, minimalistic. That's what I'm shooting for. Any beginner or new user to InDesign can do this. Trust me. And then you'll take pride in sharing your work when you give it to the person that you care about and love this holiday season. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and happy holidays. Bye.